Hey guys, Justin here. Wanted to give you a quick uh, look at my uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition Arcade 1-Up cabinet. Um, recently modified it. Uh, did the, did basically the ETA Prime um, conversion where I put a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in it. Uh, and then I'm running RetroPie 4.4 on it. So I did upgrade um, the buttons. Added some uh, little coin buttons as well. Um, <clears throat> do have the, uh, the bat top, um, uh, joy joysticks as well. So, uh, pretty cool system. I did add, um, this light. It's just an LED strip basically up in the, uh, um, kind of the, uh, marquee area up there. Uh, basically is all you have to do is, um, along this side right here, just cut a hole. Um, and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it, if I can get my camera to focus, but you can kind of see up in there, um, just ran it through and then it's, uh, it's controlled by USB. So I plugged it right into the Raspberry Pi. As soon as that boots up, um, then the lights come on. So, uh, the LED function does have, um, a controller and it has many different functions. I found this to be, um, you know, the least, uh, intrusive just when you're playing games and it does kind of light everything up really cool um, in different, you know, as it goes through the cycle of colors, you can kind of see the characters in different colors. So uh, pretty cool upgrade there. Um, I have ordered some uh, graphic graphics. I'm going to turn the light on here so you can get a better look at it. Um, I have ordered some graphics for it uh, from arcadegraphics.com. I went with the 80s classic, um, <clears throat> the full kit. So... Uh, as soon as that comes in the mail, I'm going to uh, do some before and after videos and then show you guys uh, what that looks like. So I'm pretty excited about it. Typically, uh, I, I do love Street Fighter 2. Um, I think the arcade one-up uh, version of Street Fighter 2 does have some flaws in it. The, uh, you know, the sound being one of them, if you're on the left side of the screen... You're the player on the left side of the screen, rather. Um, none of your kicks or punches have any sound attached to them. It, it's kind of wonky, in my opinion. But other than that, I do love Arcade 1-Up. Um, no complaints here. This one I bought. Um, did, had no intention of modifying. Kind of did some videos uh, and then, uh, or watched some videos and and decided, hey, uh, you know, I think uh, that's the way to go. So um, I do... Uh, typically what I'll do with this is I'll, I'll stick it on Super Mario All-Stars, um, hit enter, and then, uh, yeah, I like to stick it on this, this screen, which acts as a, uh, a screensaver as well. So on my buttons, I did want to point out, um, and I'll try to drop some links to this stuff in, in the, uh, comment section below, but I did label my buttons just because it is easier for people to, um, to just walk right up and start playing if you have the, uh, the buttons labeled. So, uh, it was like five bucks on Amazon. I was able to find these stick on, um, labels and they came with like four sheets and there was like six letters on each sheet, um, all the way through the entire alphabet. So really good deal. If one were to, I can't imagine them peeling up, but if we're, one were to, um, I've got plenty of replacements. So, I uh, wanted to share that with you. Just watch out for my video here uh, soon about the uh, the added um, the skins. Basically, going to reskin this thing uh, to look like an '80s arcade. Um, I'll try to drop that link in the uh, comment section below as well. Uh, basically, the skin does have um, like Mario on it, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. Uh, I think it has the guy from Joust on it. The Simpsons are in there. The whole family. So. Um, I think it's really going to make this look cool. Um, not that I, I, I love Street Fighter 2, but, uh, you know, after modding this cabinet, it's, you know, it's apparent to me that it, I think it'll look much cooler once I, uh, once I get those, um, those skins on there. So anyway, uh, keep you guys updated. Um, don't forget to hit like if you like the video and, uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Thanks.